The state's largest school district announcing plans to spend hundreds of millions of dollars to improve its buildings. The superintendent for Detroit Public School Community District has outlined a 20-year master plan that requires about $2 billion to upgrade all of the district's facilities. But for now, officials want to focus on investing $700 million over the next five years. Seven Action News reporter Darren Cunningham taking a closer look at where the money could go and what parents are saying about this new plan. If the Detroit Public Schools Community District were to restore all of their buildings to their original condition, the superintendent says it would take $2 billion. So the immediate plan is to work with $700 million from the federal government. I'm very excited about this because I feel like one of the best examples of the inequality that our students face every day is the quality of their facilities. You know, they, they don't, you don't have to go far outside of Detroit to see a difference in the quality of the building. Superintendent Dr. Nikolai Vitti says the revenue just isn't there at the local level for much needed maintenance. New roofs, heating and cooling, new windows and masonry. So $700 million one-time funding from the Biden administration will be used to help. Of that, $281 million will go to completely rebuild five schools, including Cody High School, Karstens at Golightly, Phoenix, Pershing High School. Denise Johnson is a Pershing alumnus, her son Keelan, a freshman. It's like a lot of stuff that needs to be done. You know, stuff is falling apart. They definitely would appreciate that. Yeah. It's a little bit more um, inviting environment for the kids. The fifth school slated to be rebuilt Paul Robeson, Malcolm X Academy. I have a grandson that goes here and uh, he's in the first grade. Okay. And uh, actually in reality, three of my own children went to Halley when it was Halley Middle School. So I really do think that the inner city need to upgrade some of the schools. Answering that call, the district's facility master plan calls for $296 million in renovations, $82 million to build additions onto existing schools. And looking at birth rates in Detroit, the superintendent says you wouldn't expect school enrollment to increase. However, he says one goal is to put more little ones in early childhood centers in hopes to keep them in the district for years to come. So $35 million is earmarked to reactivate buildings that closed and use them for pre-K. VD says areas where overcrowding is an issue, a K-8 school will be opened. And he says some buildings will be closed for good. Without this money, you know, what is the long term outlook if this if this yeah. out of money didn't exist, if it wasn't coming from the federal government? It, it would mean that our our buildings would continue to deteriorate. I think that affects the morale of students, families and employees when they're when you're not going to work or school in a building um, that, you know, is not comparable to those outside of the city. Dr. Vitti says none of this is a done deal. The proposal is before the board. After community input is received, a final recommendation will be submitted to the board in May or June. In Detroit, Darren Cunningham, 7 Action News. Darren, thank you. And over the next two months, the district will be hosting community meetings to discuss the proposed funding plan. You can find those dates and times at WXYZ.com. Just click on the article.